Hello ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to be trying a new format of videos on the ELX987 channel where are we going to discuss some Star Citizen news. So, this week is Star Citizen, published on 4-24-2023, and it was released at 3pm, uh, I don't know what time zone that is, but we're going to get straight into it. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Oh, that's my personal time zone. I'm in Alaska time zone. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and let's get into this. Happy Monday, everybody. Last week, Star Citizen Alpha 318.2 hit the live servers and brought it with it a myriad of bug fixes and stability improvements. The Zeta threat have returned and are terrorizing Stanton, and we're seeing more of you than ever before, joining forces with the CDF or Civilian Defense Force to defend the system. Yeah, Xena Threat, by the way, has been uh, pretty laggy, but um, it's been fun for the most part, so we're going to hope that it keeps going. Uh, despite anticipating some turbulence during its initial release, we've always recognized the importance of persistent any streaming, or PES, as the most difficult and complex component of our efforts to enable server meshing. The engineering required for PS has been extensive, as it fundamentally alters how we record the state of the universe, and introduces an unprecedented level of persistence that is unmatched by other games. We'd like to note that we are, make, we are aware of various issues that popped up during Xenothreat, including the interaction delays, causing things like ASOPs, terminals, uh, restocking and general interactions not to function properly, as well as the issues related to various desyncs you may have experienced in game. The team is currently collecting, or uh, uh, collating, or yeah, no, collating and analyzing the vast amount of data that have re that we, they have received. Thanks to your participation and the tremendous amount of traffic only possible on the live servers. While these issues can be a hindrance in the short term. They are a necessary and inevitable step in the ongoing process to develop and strengthen our backend and for the mo big milestones be ahead. Our team is committed to this and is very optimistic about the road ahead. Unpacking that message, yes, Xenia Threat again was very laggy, yes it had issues, yes there were a lot of desynced entities and entity removal, all that mumbo jumbo. But um, yeah, overall Xenothreat's been pretty fun, and 3.18.2 patch without the event has been very, very stable. Con 42 in Frankfurt, Germany took place um, there, Frankfurt, Germany, last weekend. This is the third iteration of this incredibly engaging event, which brought together nearly 600 community members, including many from the team at CIG. This, it was a privilege to attend and meet so many of you in person. We want to give a huge thank you to the organizers who put in a massive amount of hard work to pull off an amazing event. Wow. Watching the Con 42, um, all that stuff, and I have, oh, just watching some of the Q&A was amazing. Them talking about uh, components, and they'll have an economy with it, and there will be um, specific rare components that you won't be able to buy in shops that you can get in drops or whatnot, and you'll have to maintain its uh, safety on your ship and make sure you don't lose the ship or else you lose the component. It's just, it's crazy what this stuff to come up with. And they did clarify as well that with con command and control, because everyone has these big fleets and they're like, oh, I want to throw my fleet into um, all this, like, stuff. And they want to have fleets that do their own thing and have AI piloting them and combating and hauling and trade and you can't do that. You have to have some form of control of your ships as a player. So they clarified that. They also clarified that there will be AI assistance but not full control as I mentioned before. And they even said with the command and control they are going to implement ways for players in squads and groups to receive commands and orders so that you can do things together. Oh, target a specific entity or a specific ship or building or whatnot, as long as there's a radar signature, I'd imagine. Um, they'd also, I'd assume, say like, oh, you have to go here, or you have to do this, or we're going to meet up, and not this, that, and the other. And obviously, players will be able to ignore these if they don't want to listen. But uh, that kind of is counterproductive for a group element, so let's hope that they listen. But uh, those kind of improvements are going to be extremely substantial and important 
for um, group gameplay, which is extremely exciting. So bravo to CIG for answering those questions. Now let's see what's going on this week. This Tuesday, the narrative team is back with the monthly Galactopedia update, your vault of knowledge for everything Star Citizen. Thursday sees the return of Inside Star Citizen, showing the latest Lordville magic coming out from our developers in Montreal. On Friday, we welcome Star Citizen Live to our Twitch channel, airing live at 1500 UTC or 8 a.m. Pacific. Info on guests is coming soon. Furthermore, you'll find our weekly RSI newsletter directly delivered to your inbox. Plus, subscribers can also look forward to the Jump Points Magazine's April issue. That will be exciting. Oh boy. One of the more exponent exceptional aspects of the Star Citizen community is the limitless talent, limitless talent and creativity that emanate from its members, which often result in some pretty epic community organized events. This Saturday, we've got one, not one, but two community racing events, the Crux Cup and the System 7, which are both various racing events that you guys can read about on your own time. Both events will take place this Saturday, so hop on to your into your com comfiest chair, crack one open, and get ready for race day. Have a great week, and we'll see you in the verse. This is coming from Tyler Zylo Witkin, director of the community. So just to rehash that schedule for this week, Monday, April 24th, 2023, is this week in Star Citizen. April 25th, 2023, on a Tuesday, we have the Galactopedia update for lore. Thursday, April 27, 2023, we have Inside Star Citizen on youtube.com slash channel or slash C slash Robert Space IND. Friday, April 28, 2023, we have Star Citizen Live, the weekly newsletter, and the jump point, the April 2023 issue, and the Star Citizen Live will take place on Twitch TV slash Star Citizen. And then you have the various racing events on the 29th. Whew, what a lot to unpack. Community MVP of April 24th. We are constantly amazed at the contributions made by the Star Citizen community, whether it's fan art, a cinematic, YouTube guide, or even a 3D print of your favorite ship. We love it all. Every week we select one piece of content submitted to the community hub and highlight it here. The highlighted community contents com the highlighted content creator will be awarded an MVP patch on Spectrum and will be immortalized in our MVP section of the hub. Don't forget to submit your content to our community hub for a chance to see it here. Submit smartphone wallpapers, and then they discuss, oh, can't get enough star citizen? Look, you got a wallpaper for you and your prospector, and a little pinku, a penguin in the corner uh, for the cute aspect. And then you're just mining away. Oh, and that's all on your phone, maybe. And then, yeah, that's there's a feedback session, and, uh, yep, it was... It, it looks like they did a good job today, and um, I guess shout out to Matt Hare for the cool Connie uh, screenshot, and uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.